Hey loves, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday, March 11th. Y'all, things have progressed uh, faster than we thought. So we are currently um, getting everything together for baby girl. I just took all the tags off her clothes. I didn't feel the need to get that on camera because guys, it's so many videos out there of people doing that in their nesting videos. You guys pretty much know take the tags off and you're gonna put them in the washer so i'm getting ready to load up the washer with her stuff i do want to show you what i'm using um but yeah i'm just washing her little onesies and stuff onesies bibs socks and um, burp cloths and any receiving blankets and then we're gonna wash her wash and sterilize her pacifiers and bottles and that is pretty much good um and then we'll probably go ahead and set up my uh, postpartum stuff and then my bedside nursery stuff so that's basically what this vlog will consist of um y'all i went to my appointment today and if you didn't see my last vlog i kind of talked about it a little bit at the end so if you haven't seen my prep for baby with me vlog episode two definitely stop this video right now and go watch that one show you girls some love comment like share subscribe but yeah um today went to that appointment uh, was not expecting to get the news that I was told. Um, for the past week or so, I had been experiencing just mild cramps. Nothing unbearable, but definitely feeling some pain. Um, and then I started to swell really bad. Swelling is normal in pregnancy. Um, but if it gets to the point where you're swelling like in your face, in your hands, your wrist, your feet, your legs... Um, you need to contact your doctor because uh, there could be something else going on. And that is what was going on with me. But um, I wasn't feeling dizzy. I wasn't having headaches or anything like that. So I thought, hey, maybe I'm just doing too much. I'm on my feet. I'm not resting. So I started resting, elevating my feet, putting on my compression socks, and the swelling went down. So I thought nothing else of it. I did get slightly dizzy. Um, when I showed up to the little shower sprinkle my family threw for me um, on Sunday. But again, I didn't really think nothing of it because it was just like I had just had on sunglasses. So I thought when I took my sunglasses off, that might have threw off my vision. So I thought nothing of it. Um, hold on, y'all got spit. Anywho, um, so get to the doctor today and they're, you know, they ask, you know, the same questions all the time. Um, you know, do you have any questions or concerns? Is there anything going on that you want to discuss with the doctor? Um, um, and I let the medical assistant know like, hey, like I've been swelling a lot. Um, my hands hurt really bad. I can't really make a fist. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm out of breath really bad. But again, all of those things are pretty normal in pregnancy. But I still like to voice all my concerns because you never know. Then they asked about baby's movement. And I didn't know what I was going to say, but I'm glad I spoke up. I was like, yeah, I do feel like there's been a decrease in baby's movement. She she used to move a lot, and now I feel like she doesn't move that much. Um, maybe like a couple times out the day, but it's just not as much as she used to be, okay? So she was like, it's pretty normal for the baby's movement to slow down um, at the end of your pregnancy, just because there's not a lot, there's not a lot of room in there. Um, but she said, we still kind of want to check. Um, she was, she let me know, um, you know, I'm 36 weeks in a day. I have five more days till I'm full term. Um, and that today we're going to do the GBS testing, um, to see if I'll need any antibiotics during labor. So I already knew I was having that test today. If you are pregnant, never been pregnant before, they take a little stick and go up your butthole and then your vagina. In my opinion, it doesn't hurt. I hear a lot of women says it hurts. It does not hurt for me. Okay, um, so she asked me, did I want to be checked? Uh, just because of all of the symptoms that I was having, I was like, sure, you're already down there. Go ahead and check. She leaves out the room. She comes back in um, and she says, hey, you know, we found protein in your, well, let me remind y'all. Before that, she took my pressure. My pressure was fine. I think she said it was like 114 over something. She said it was fine, pretty normal. Um, she left the room, came back and said there was protein found in my urine. So she came back in there and took my pressure again. And this time it was higher. It was different. So, um, at that point, things kind of just escalated quickly. 
the OB came in there. They did my GBS test. Um, she checked me to see if I was dilated in it. She told me I was about a finger dilated. So I'm assuming that's one centimeter. Um, and she said, you know, hey, um, we're going to get some lab work done. And I'm, you're going to pee in this little jug for 24 hours. And you need to check yourself into labor and delivery tomorrow so we can monitor you. Y'all, when they said that, the first thought went in my mind like, okay, is this more serious than I thought? You know, what 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 does this mean? Like, what, what does this mean? She came back in there and she was just like, you know, protein found in your urine that usually could mean you have preeclampsia. Um, so that is pretty serious. That's something my mom experienced with my little sister. So I know a little bit about that of women having that. It's usually um, almost always accurate when it's found in your pee, the protein. Um, and you usually have to either get induced or if the baby is in distress, um, they have to go ahead and do emergency C-section. Um, I am praying for the best. I do not want a C-section. I want to have my baby vaginally. Um, but if she is in any type of distress, of course, you know, the doctor's just going to have to do what they have to do. But So I'm just at this point just trying to make sure everything is together. So, you know, if I do get to the hospital tomorrow and they do not let me go home and we are looking at getting induced, at least I know when we get home, everything is set up, everything is washed, everything is clean. We are prepared to bring this baby home. So that is where we are. So enough of my little jibber jabber about my appointment today. Let me go ahead and watch these clothes. So now I am washing her bottles and stuff. They are all in the sink. Um, I mainly just have like the Tommy Tippy, these two sizes ones, uh, which I really only, oop, I'm really only gonna need the five ounce bottles for now. I am breastfeeding, but when I breastfeed, I like to have it on my boob and also put the milk in the bottles as well, just so other people be able to feed her. The soap that I'm using is Gapo Baby. This is my first time using it, so I really don't know too much about this. Uh, they didn't, I don't even know if they had this around five years ago when I had a mirror, but I know I wasn't using this. But the girlies, they use this to clean and sanitize, so that is what I'm doing. So we're gonna go ahead and hand clean these. And then I do wanna try out my sterilizer just to dry the stuff. So we'll kind of open that up and see how that works. Finish washing all the bottles and pacifier. So this is a sterilizer. This thing is huge. Now, with when I was pregnant with Amir, or not even pregnant, but when I had Amir, I just did it the old-fashioned way to sterilize his bottles. I would just boil. I had a des designated pot for his bottles and passies, and I would just boil that. But that can be very time consuming so that's why i decided to get this to see if it would save me more time you know to come with some coffee um, just a bunch of different tears 
I got this off of Walmart. Pretty good deal on it. It was like $65. Bucks. That's it. So hopefully it's good. Um, the reviews were good. So hopefully she's good. Y'all, Malik has so many boxes he needs to break down. His butt is out playing basketball. Yeah. He's talking about this. Let me go play basketball. This is going to be my last day. Trouble. So, I will need to read the directions on this because I've never used one before. Hold on, y'all. Speak. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Amir, and I'm back for another banger. <laughs> yeah, he is too cute. So, I've never used this before. I want to dry and sterilize. So, okay. y'all, I don't know. How do you? Can you not dry and sterilize at the same time? Do you st okay, so let's do the sterilized function first. Using it. Remove the top lid tray and sterilizing chamber. What does that look like? What is the sterilizing chamber? Okay, I'm confused. So this is the sterilizing chamber. Got you. Okay. Got that part. What did it say? Okay, fill the water reserve with appropriate amount of water. What's the appropriate amount of water? Oh, okay, that. Let's get some water. So it has like a max thing in here that tells you where to stop. So we just gonna fill it up. Okay. And it says. So, I guess you're gonna put the sterilizing chamber back on. And we're gonna stick everything in here. I'm doing this right. I'm just, I'm just throwing this stuff in there. But it say everything need to be like upside down. Okay. I don't know, child. Um, I hope I did the right. We just put the nipples in there. I don't care about sterilizing the little top things because we washed them. Should be good enough. All right. Everything in there, y'all. I think I got it to work. Um, I will keep you guys updated on how it sterilized her bottles and pacifiers and nipples um, once this is done. So now we're getting ready to put together my little bedside carp. This will just have everything that I need throughout the night. Um, you guys probably won't get to see everything that I put on this cart because a lot of stuff is kind of like in my suitcase. Um, or my labor delivery bag. But I ordered this utility cart off of Amazon. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks like that. It's white, I think. And it was 25 bucks. 
I was going to uh, get it off Target, but it was cheaper on Amazon. I think it was like 30 something bucks. And it's like, I don't need a real fancy card, okay? I just need something to kind of keep my little essentials on for the baby. So I'm going to put her together. Back it up a little bit. Do do do. Child, if anyone is thinking about getting this car off of Amazon, just know it is really, really cheap. Really, really flimsy. Um, Twenty five dollars to me. This should have been like ten dollars. How cheap it is. I will have it linked. Um, if someone is just wants one that's on a budget, this is definitely budget friendly. But just keep in mind, if you get this, it is very cheap. But it should get the job done, though. I just have to keep the boys away from it because they will tear this up. Like, so cheap, y'all. <laughs> so this has been sitting for a little bit. The bottles and pacifiers. So I sterilized it and I dry, I dried them. And I am here to say, this stuff is dry. Is it cracking? No, my mama did on my state, but it's fine. That was the only one in there? That's the one I seen. So yeah, I can actually say y'all on the first try of this, I give it a 10 out of 10. It sterilized the bottles and pacifiers. And when I put it on the dry set, it dried them really good. I don't know if y'all can see, but they are completely dry. They're, there's nothing wet in here. And I, I did the dry setting for 30 minutes. It had a 30 minute, a 60 minute, and I wanna say 80, but I didn't do those. I did 30 because it's not that many in here. So now that her bottles and everything, pacifiers are all clean and sterilized. I'm gonna show y'all like my little bedside cart here. Um, to me, I just needed this to be super functional and have everything that I'm actually gonna be using in the middle of the night early mornings all right so first we have the top of the cart we have a lot of my medications still going to be using even once i get birth so um i usually have still have low iron after birth so i still need to be taking those you still want to take your prenatal vitamins just to help with like any hair shedding um and things like that the uterus is contracting back <laughs> like those cramps really hurt so having some Tylenol, ibuprofen, whatever you like to use, you need to have some type of pain medicine on hand because it can definitely hurt, especially if you're breastfeeding um, because I would mostly feel the pain when I was breastfeeding. I don't really need this after birth, but I'm going to just keep it in here for now because that is my nausea medicine. And then you're definitely going to need you uh, some stool softeners because, hey, after you give birth, you might have a tough time going to the restroom. So get you some stool softeners, girl. And then, of course, I have my little Stanley Cup dupe from Timu. Y'all, we got to stay hydrated. Again, I'm going to be breastfeeding, so we definitely want to have something to drink on hand. Then we just have the baby cream, like diaper cream that we'll need. Um, any, like, gas medicine, um, if she gets any gas. And just saline drops if she gets congested or anything like that. I do need to get some baby Tylenol just in case. I want to have it on hand uh, because I just don't like to go anywhere those first few weeks of birth i have um the little pacify holders that attach to her onesies and outfits and stuff and then just some extra pacifiers we have a hairbrush comb thermometer um a little nail clipper medicine thing some extra diapers and wipes okay moving on to the second tier here so i just have like her burp cloths a bunch of onesies just in case um, because, you know, she may have accidents, spit up or whatever. So I just have a bunch of those on hand that way I don't have to go all the way to her room because her bedroom is on the other side of the house. Um, and then we got some mittens um, and just some socks. So again, just very much newborn essentials. These are the main things that you really need those first few days of life. Onesies, burp cloths, mittens and socks. All right, and then on this last tray here, let me get down, y'all. We have just my breast pump and just like breast, oop, y'all. My breast pump and then just some breastfeeding essentials. So we have my little um, breast pad. So for leaking, I used these last time when I was pregnant. When I gave birth to Amir, so I was like, I'm just gonna use these again. And then we have some, um, 
breast mix breast milk storage bags um to store your milk in so i have these on handy if i'm ever like in here pumping late night or something like that and then we got some nipple cream and then yeah then just my pump is down here i thought about taking my pump to the um hospital but i was like i don't think i'm gonna need it um because my milk didn't really come in so i got home um yes i did put Lemire on the boob when i gave birth but it was just colostrum so uh, i think it's just gonna be the same this time too but when i get home i'll have my pump here and ready for me to use i also have her little station set up on her little bassinet area changing table we got some more burp cloths some receiving blankets some wipes and diapers so everything is all organized in here and ready for me to use when she gets here y'all before i close out this and that's what we vlog i wanted to show you guys the postpartum stuff that i use so the first thing that i use is a like a waist trainer or waistband because as soon as i give birth i literally put this thing on because i want that uterus to go down okay i needed to contract back as soon as possible i have two of these one is already in my hospital bag um and this is the other one that i have so yeah i just kind of swapped them out but you definitely want to have some type of belly band um to kind of help contract that uterus back so definitely something you need for postpartum the little peri bottle um you guys have probably seen this all over the internet <laughs> The hospital is going to give you one, but theirs isn't as exact as this. That'll actually hit the spot. You'll kind of have to like angle it in a way to get it perfect. I actually still have mine from when I gave birth to Lemire, but I really wanted to try this one out um, because I thought it was kind of cool, like how it's angled and I can just be sitting down and it'll just spray it with no issues, right? So I picked this up off of Walmart and I believe it was only 13 bucks and you're definitely going to need it because if you give birth vaginally, um, they really don't want you to like wipe or do anything down there. They just want you to squirt it with like warm water. So you're definitely going to need you a peri bottle. Make sure you have you some dermaplast and some tux. I really like using the tux because I had um blew my hemorrhoids out when i was pushing so this really really helps soothe that and also just that down their area and same with this you spraying this on whatever you're using it definitely did soothe it down there so these are a must the hospital does give this to you at least the hospital that i gave birth at they gave me these and they gave me the dermaplast and they gave me a peri bottle um so it really just depends on where you get birth at you can always ask before you give birth uh, what the hospital is going to give to you what you're actually paying for um but i know when they did give me that stuff i ran out of it pretty quickly so of course wh whatever they give me i'm going to use that first and then i already have these on hand so it works out some hemorrhoid ointment because like i said when i gave birth to amir while pushing i did blow my hemorrhoids out and it was really uncomfortable like i i had a really good um postpartum recovery with the mirror but i if i had to say what wasn't the great part was like my hemorrhoids because sometimes it would be hard to watch not it, sometimes it would be hard to walk because it was just so uncomfortable but using this hemorrhoid cream and the tux really did help soothe it um so yeah you're definitely gonna need this um, just in case you never know, you might not have this issue, but hey, you'd rather be safe than sorry and have it on hand. That we have is just some like, um, I don't even know what they call these. Are these like just a woman diaper? So you don't have to wear like any of your underwear and mess that up. Uh, because when you give birth, you're going to be leaking blood, fluid, all kinds of things. And you don't want to mess up your underwear. So I just recommend you just buy yourself some diapers. The hospital is going to give you, I think, like a couple pair. Um, but again, when that runs out, you want to make sure you have your own. I'm using the brand Always. And then I also have some pads just because you're going to be bleeding. I didn't bleed that long with my first pregnancy, but every pregnancy is different. You never know. You still want to have these on hand um, to cover that leakage. So 
I have for like my postpartum care is this um, Frida Mom um, Instant Pasticles. Y'all, the hospital gave me these and they were like heaven on earth. They made it feel so good down there. Like, oh my God. So yeah, the hospital does give you some of these, but I think they only sent me home with like four. So once you run out, you want to make sure you have some. So I picked up this from Walmart. It was $18 um, and it's just instant, you know, pasticles. It'll kind of keep it cool down there because you're going to be kind of sore uh, just depending on what your... Uh, pain tolerance is so yeah th these are definite must and how many comes in here eight come in a pack um i do think this is a bit pricey but hey the cost of giving birth okay it's expensive so this is definitely a must uh because yeah it just it just makes you feel really good so highly recommend and then I would say the only other thing that I would add to this that I mentioned that was on my cart was like any pain meds or anything like that. Because again, when you're contracting that uterus back, it is painful. It does, it does feel like cramps or just like contractions again. So make sure you have some type of pain, pain medicine, whatever your preference is. Just make sure you have some on hand. I'm trying to see if I'm forgetting anything but i don't think i am so yeah i thank y'all for watching this nest with me video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions be sure to comment below i would love to chat with you guys if you like the video make sure you like share and comment and if you're watching and you're not subscribed what are you doing go ahead and subscribe to the channel i promise you you won't regret it and i will see you guys in the next video bye love